you were then in the uh, 15th century and the compass was uh, invented and the ships, uh, that means that the ships could cross the Atlantic and uh, the ships were those three towers. So there the book was on the left hand side. No, I missed the book one. So the belfry is at the uh, Profen, it's not a religious building, but uh, uh, a tower which symbolizes the power of the city. In a few uh, seconds you will see uh, the music hall of Rouge, the new music hall, which was built in 2002 when Bruges was the cultural capital of Europe. And here we pass for the first time the ramparts around Bruges. You see the water and the park. Uh, we have for six kilometers, you can make a nice walk. It's a paradise for joggers. You see there one already. <laughs> Uh, it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Artificial, yeah. <laughs>
So no gas or no oil, but built through a pipeline. A lot of chocolate shops in Bruce, and well, but there are, but there are 62 uh, chocolate shops, but only four owners. So the competition is less sharp than you would imagine. It's on this place that the corridor crosses this street uh, by that bridge, uh, which looks uh, medieval but which was built in 1923. Always the same custom to... We arrive now in one of the more commercial and busy streets of Bruges, which uh, leads us to uh, the Church of uh, the Holy Mary. Yeah. Oops, yeah. in Europe and those buildings are authentic. Uh, in the Middle East, yeah. the hospital was a village uh, within the town. It had, it had its own farm, its own orchard, uh, its own brewery and those grounds remained unbuilded in the night, it, 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 um, the, its function was uh, to allow a man or woman to look if uh, the people on the boats who enter Bruges have paid their, ta uh, uh, paid their taxes. Uh, you know, a merchant who came from Ghent to Bruges had to pay taxes. Before he entered Bruges, so the commerce of Bruges was protected. In Ghent, it was just the opposite. And the whole economy before the French Revolution was based on protectionism. And it's an English You get really afraid of that. For the moment of rest at the place where the fountain is, where, which we have found. Probably after the bicycle.
because it's three times. The houses on the left hand side you see there are copies of Gothic houses. Uh, they, are, they are built in the 1930s but they are very nice copies and the idea was that the ground floor was smaller than the uh, uh, upper. Oh, you're all right. This was also a, sh a fish market, but for more expensive fish. And the hall uh, was constructed by the Dutch, who ruled uh, Belgium from 1815 to 18 1830. Only 15 years. It's the only building uh, which is uh, remained from the Dutch period. And you see the columns. Oh, they are not ornamented. They are what we call a Tuscan uh, columns why the uh, Greek columns uh, have also a lot of ornaments. Those are very sober and, and to show what pollution uh, do to our, uh, can do to our uh, buildings and also to our lungs. You see there also the symbol of the the symbol of the town S S uh, 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 P Q B eh, Senatus Populusque Brugensis. It's an allusion to the Roman uh, the Roman symbol uh, Senatus Populusque Romanus. So we are here, which is in a Gothic style. The statues, however, are new. Uh, they were destructed by the French revolutionaries who, who occupied Belgium uh, from 1792 uh, on. Uh, on the right hand side you see the chapel of the Holy Block. Uh, uh, in the, uh, during the Crusades, uh, in the 12th century, uh, the, uh, the crusaders of Bruce brought